video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Now, I wasn't able to do a full review, driving, get some cinema shots of the car because of something that had happened in the early morning. Now, the guy also who works there, I can't go back to the dealer because he no longer works there, he decided to move on to Mercedes-Benz. Maybe I'll be able to get some reviews over there. something super exciting it's gonna be our third review on an American made vehicle so yes I say third American now we have done reviews with friends builds before and made small bits of those but I promise we're gonna go right back in and probably do a much more in-depth much more more detailed review and actually spend some time with them and just get like a full-on walk around and of course I got to do that during the, the daytime because Sometimes some people have some really dark builds that are very hard to see. Back to today's video, we are going to be reviewing a 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat Widebody. That is a full mouthful of titles right there, right? So you guys know I do these reviews and I do a lot of talking here in the car. Then after that, I show you guys the car. So if you're new to this channel, that's kind of how I do my reviews. It's a little more different than normal people would do their reviews. They just kind of like go up to the car and have a mic on and do the whole talking thing but I like to talk to you guys on the way over there and then when we see the build you get to have my uh, full on thoughts and reviews and some shots of the car. Best American made vehicle out there that is still going on to this day and that is kind of hard to argue with I know because of the Dodge Viper, the Challenger and what other things does Dodge have? The Durango they are just now releasing the Dodge Hive or something like that or Hornet so that's pretty cool and then obviously you have baby Mopar which is the Fiat 500 of Barth which I own and Dodge has been around since forever they had a very big dispute with Dodge and Ford Dodge and Ford of who exactly is going to be the best marketing out there for sports cars and Chevy got introduced and stuff like that so the three biggest uh, trinity of American vehicles, so Dodge, Ford, and, and Chevy. This car is sitting at a Van Nuys uh, Maserati dealership. So if you guys want to pick up this car in your local in California, I do believe it's selling for around 90 grand, but this is going to be his little gift right here because he does love Fiat's. So if you guys haven't seen, this is exactly where I got Happy's 2013 Fiat 500 of Barth. This dealership's pretty cool. Um, the people here are pretty friendly. They do have coffee and everything like that so also let me sit and turn on an mc20 i'm not going to disclose who that is in case he wasn't supposed to but it was still a very cool day with that one and in today's video we're going to do a lot more review of this charger i think i've sat in it before when it was there and it gave us some baby revs of course just to hear that exhaust and the whine of the supercharger but Dodge Charger and some history really quick about it is that like to my knowledge it has been in multiple different uh, movies starring obviously in Fast and the Furious Dom that's all he ever drives is Chargers and Chargers and Chargers and then one of the other iconic movies would be the General Lee and actually Whistling Diesel has a General Lee and he has a twin turbo LS in that one sadly he did take out the Charger Mopar engine back in the day they had different uh, blocks of course than the 392 that you see nowadays and Dodge Charger you could pretty much not only I say this before you do have the Tesla engines that you could put in anything well same thing 
that is going on with the Dodge engines. They're a lot more sophisticated than an LS1 to just drop in a car and call it a day, but a lot of people do put those engines, this is the third car I've seen, a lot of people do put those engines into various different vehicles. The Miata out there that it has a Dodge Charger Hellcat engine in it. You have the Jeep Gladiator, you have the TRX, and you also have the Dodge Durango. That one also comes with a Hellcat engine in there. They're all 6.2 liter. And I do believe that, you know, people who want more power but can't afford a Mopar car or like rather would have a different style body because the Mopars are pretty big and they're pretty heavy for the chargers to get the engine it's i think the engine costs for around 25 grand you could pretty much put into anything as long as you know what you're doing you have your custom mounts and stuff like that the dodge charger you can pretty much drift that car you can race that car you can mod it you can lower it and even the worst case situations steal it and bring it to takeovers that's usually what they do out there in the east side of the world uh, even down here in Cali, there is some stolen Hellcats and stolen Scats that are always brought out to car meets and just swung and destroyed and they don't care. You know, those cars are very easy to steal, especially with their push to start button. All you need is a little tablet that has the reader on there and you're good to go to get inside the car and take off with it. A few of my friends back in the day had actually removed their relay switches so you couldn't even start the car. Because, yeah, you can have a club, you can have whatever you want on the vehicle, but if that one person has that one iP that, that the one tablet, it's over with. You know, your car is goodbye. But Charger is a pretty cool vehicle. I almost actually got my hands on a 2017 white Charger with the bloody guts, the red interior, really nice. And, wow, this thing's nice too. Hold on. I mean, I guess it's not every day that you see a Ferrari and a Lamborghini cruising together, but... Yeah, so back to the Charger. It's an amazing vehicle. Hello, I'm Jensen. Actually, drifts his Charger, his Charger Hellcat. And there's even videos out there like Junkyard Dave. He took his whole entire Dodge Magnum. And this is something that Magnums should have been a long time ago when they released is a Dodge Charger Hellcat Magnum. Now, that's pretty cool because you get the hatch version of the Charger and you get the whole entire mean, aggressive face that Charger has to offer. A few of my friends also nowadays, uh, Big Scat, shout out to them, Mopars of Cali. Talking about a Hellcat, there goes one right there, just cruising on by of course. They sound so nice guys, 6.2 liter, V8 Hemi, um, it's a massive beast of a vehicle. And Big Scat, like I said, Mopars of Cali, Mopar Madness, I haven't talked to them in a while, but you know, they supported us in Chill Flow, um, you know, so. Charger is a really cool vehicle and why why should you guys buy it? I think if you guys wanted a nice, fast, comfort, kind of heavy American made vehicle, a Charger is always the best way to go because, you know, it's got the creature comforts, you got the suede Alcantara, heated seats, you've got the big 8.1 display, it's automatic and it has paddle shifters if you want to control that by your hands. The gas mileage, now this is all depending on the driver, the gas mileage is only around 12 to 9 miles per gallon, I believe, don't quote me on that, but it's still a really cool car and if you're into American muscle and you don't know which American made vehicle you want, me personally, I would choose a Charger just because it's four doors so it's convenient to have all your friends and if not your friends, well, you can put a roll cage in the back and you know, bag it, take it to a show, call it a day. Some other cool things why I think somebody should get a Charger is because they are just the iconic vehicle of America. Besides the Corvette and besides the Mustang, you know, I feel like the Dodge Charger has been in a lot of different movies and it is just a very nice sounding vehicle. It looks aggressive. The transmissions, I believe, aren't the best. But I know for sure you can get the engine and add a lot of modifications to it to make way well over than 707 horsepower. And fun fact, actually just from factory, if you do it just a tiny little pulley switch, that little pulley will change the car from 707, I believe, to 787. So it adds a lot of horsepower just by changing the size of the pulley. Of course, the thing's going to be spinning faster, making more air in the engine bay. Now, one 
one thing I don't like about the Charger wide body is that it's just pushed in by clips. It's cool because it gives it a nice clean look. However though, if you were to come up to a Charger Hellcat wide body, you can just kind of yank it right off. And that's not very convenient for somebody who's going to be spending a lot of money on the vehicle. But Dodge Charger Hellcat wide body, it's still a very beautiful car. It's very spacious inside. So some other cool features about the uh, Chargers, the Scat Pack I believe, and the Hellcat. Now there's a few, before I get into the uh, key features, there's a few different Hellcats out there guys. You have the Hellcat Regular, Hellcat Wide Body, Hellcat Red Eye, then you have the Hellcat Jailbreak, and even the Hellcat Daytona. That's crazy. I believe there's more out there, but those are to my knowledge of what different Hellcats there are out there. And that was a nice McLaren. It's always cars when I'm trying to talk to you guys. Some ADHD is going everywhere. But some key features basically for the Hellcats and I think even the Scat Packs, they have a feature called Line Lock. So when you want to drag race your vehicle, they have from factory, let me say that again, from the factory, they programmed it in the car to hold the back wheels so you could do a proper burnout to heat up your tires when racing people. It doesn't make sense that these cars, these American-made vehicles, are legal here in the U.S. But when it comes down to our T-Jet engines and the Fiat, they are not allowed here. But then again, hey, Dodge is America. So we're going to head out over there, like I said, to Van Nuys and uh, see what's up over there, guys. All right, so I made it here to the dealership, and it's actually a whole different... Uh, Car that they have here, the Hellcat. So, find homeboy right now. What's up? So, I've located the guy, and he's currently a little busy, but we'll see him right now when he's done. All right, guys. So, we made it here, City of Van Nuys. They have a C8, Mustang GT, Scat Pack right in front of the Hellcat that we will be reviewing today. However, though, something actually did happen today on this beautiful Monday, and I, as much as I really want to get this content out there for you guys, it's something a lot more personal that has happened before. I mean, that has happened to me. So I'm not going to stay here all day due to what it just went down. Um, I literally just got the news on the way over here, which is very devastating. And, um, you know, personally, it sucks for me and, and it hurts. I, I do like how the sand interior is like this. It'd be really nice to be with the purple car, but still a really nice Hellcat. I originally planned on going to... A park nearby and actually getting a full-on review about this thing and um, as much as I like to do that guys like I said my apologies just personal life stuff had happened just today so like I said 8-speed transmission 707 V8 6.2 liter Hellcat Hemi wide body this isn't the red eye but I know they have these in jailbreak they have these in a bunch of different versions and just right here super nice uh, these little vents right here is actually what 360 Eco, he just got his front bumper like this and he's missing those but GT500 I personally don't think I'd be able to own one of these but if in another day we can come back and do a little review on this one I think that's PPF or wrap but it's got mad suntan on this thing it's kind of embarrassing for such an expensive vehicle definitely we'll set up something else to come maybe see one of these vehicles soon Oh yeah, and I uh, definitely I can tell right now that this is a wrap. I mean, obviously when you look at the hood, it's orange, so it's a really nice, beautiful orange underneath. So good thing that it's just a wrap that's all disgusting, because that'd be embarrassing to have this car looking like that. But as always, guys, stay safe and uh, stay chill.